Greetings. Good morning. Greetings. All right. Um, I don't know. Is today a special holiday? It is a bank holiday in the uh, at least what um, UK. I know. Um, oh. All right. Uh, hmm. I think it was being called. I'm trying to figure. Oh, yeah. Give me a second here. I was just trying to look. Well, speaking of holidays, next Monday is yeah Labor Day. It is. I think we should. Well, my suggestion is we cancel the working group ahead of time and let people know. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it was UK. I'm not sure if it's Philippines or what, but there's a. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, yeah, I think that's. Uh, yeah, that looks like that's Philippines as well. I don't know. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I do know that I have some colleagues out today in the UK, so uh, I agree. Probably should just cancel that one and then uh, in advance. I did intend to, um, last week, Victor was on vacation and I did want to set something up for us to continue on the single concern uh, draft. I didn't get a, anything scheduled there, so I will reach out to him. Okay. Tuesday. Um, okay. So, yeah, I'll reach out. I'll try to get that squared away and then I'll share that. I'll do, like I've said before in the past, I'll just share it on the Slack channel if anyone wants to join. Um, right. I'm up for this afternoon um, after 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern. Um, same thing Tuesday, 3 p.m. Central. Okay. And those should give, let's see if either of those work. Okay. For, I'll, I'll ping, um, I'll ping Victor. Uh, All right, uh, let's see, do we have any, we have a PR, what is this? Or is this something I updated? Oh, this is. We didn't merge this. Oh, these are just small, you know what these definitions are. I'm gonna, <clears throat> I think these could be merged. Lucina, do you mind giving these a plus one thumbs up? This is in the proposal document. What is this? And here's a, let's um, add the definitions for motivation and goals. Good morning. Yeah, I'll take a look. Hmm. Who else joined? Hey, Drew. Good morning. Do a quick review of this PR, please. 
just two lines. I'd like to get this one merged. It's very simple. Yeah, I can uh, get in there as well. I, if I didn't, I already did. Yeah. I already do that already. You've already done it. Yeah, I thought so. That was just. I was like, oh, I recognize this from the draft <laughs> document they're working on. So, yeah. Uh, um. Yeah, I can take a look as well. All right, um, moving on. I don't think there's any new issues. I think right now we're need to close out some of the existing, nothing new. So we have the same primary focus, just getting this document done. Yeah. Have you seen if we have any new comments since last week? I have not looked. Um, I had a little busy week last week. Um, All right. Let's see if anyone's added anything. So I think we're good on the summary. Oh, there comes. I see Victor's here now, too. Hi, you. Hey, Mohammed. Um, I don't know if y'all saw, but I dropped a pull request. Um, nice. please review this PR. It's very small about um the definitions on goal and motivation going into the proposal. The proposals doc. Um. Then we can merge that pull request. <clears throat> We've moved on to looking at the one process per category. All right. Um, we'll remove that later. So we're trying to move stuff over between goals and motivation to either direction. So um, This is non-goal. This should really be under the the goal section and not the motivation. Right. This are all the out of scope stuff. I think we have enough examples that I can delete this. I'm going to remove these, start cleaning it up.
Oh, we moved this. So we last time we took some time to move this. So um talking about complexity of the tightly coupled CNS uh, test coverage and different teams blocking each other if they're tightly coupled. So then we move the goal to try to solve that. And um, this is the motivation. So some of these are more goal versus motivation. So if we could get the motivation behind it. Oh, maybe making this a little CNS, um, CNF consumers challenge with complex and tightly coupled CNS. Okay. This becomes more wordy if you don't read the first part. If you read this, then it goes with each of these. Yeah, that was, that's true, yeah. So turning this into a challenge, um, CNS challenges with complex. So um, scaling specific processes versus all uh, containers and processes at once. Something, I'm trying to figure out how to say this, but do, do y'all understand this one? If it's tightly coupled, then... Then you can't do that. It's, it's yeah, you end up scaling... Scale, scale just what you want. You end up scaling it all as a monolith. <clears throat> yep. That's why with the efficiency, the efficiently, you know, doing that, you know, that same type efficiently, we we're saying you end up doing everything. Well, I think in the, it's kind of like with the, I think the, the idea behind that is like, if you're running an HTTP server, it would scale up more child HTTP process over, under the parent process, not necessarily like branching off new parent processes. This is... Load. We're talking about the bad stuff that happened. Oh, okay. Sorry. That. So the ch yeah, the challenges that people have if they don't do it right and keep. Okay, it sorry. I had to look away for a second. I didn't know what um section you were under. <laughs> How's that for the a problem? Not this bottom part. I'm moving that over, but this a challenge and a problem that we don't like. And then this is a motivation. This is the goal. So the motivation is that we have reduced efficiency of resources and increased scaling time since you're doing everything at once rather than specific smaller components. Your response time, increased scaling time, increased scaling, I want to say and response time. So this is the problem, our motivation on why we're saying this is a good idea. And the, our goal in 
one process type per container is this to be more efficient. Shouldn't, shouldn't be the goal to scale um, to reduce the, the, the response time in this case? Decreased response time? Yeah, the, 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 basically the, the problem that you're putting in the motivation is like basically scaling a monolithic uh, resource hmm. is affecting the, the response time, right? Yeah. So so shouldn't be the goal to reduce the response time? Yes, that's what this part is. Um, oh, okay, I got you. When loading, so scaling specific pro. So here's, this is the motivation. I'm gonna put it like this so it makes more sense. So the motivation is this line. This is the bad thing that we don't like. So mm -hmm. we're calling out the problems and pain points, challenges that people are facing. And then what are we trying to do to solve it? So here's the goal. So the problem is a monolith is going to have inefficient use of resources and they're going to have a slow response time. And our goal is to more efficiently use resources when, when you need to scale. And we want to decrease the response time. Okay. Does this look right? Go ahead. No, no, no. The, the, the only thing that I'm now confused is between goal and solution. <laughs> so probably it's pretty much the same. Um, well, the solution that we're giving is all the same. It's uh, one process type per container. And okay. the goal for that solution is what we're writing here. So right now, all we have is one solution. That's what the best, the best practice is the solution. And we're matching that best practice up. We're matching that solution to its challenges and what we expect it to provide. Gotcha. I think part of our problem is all of this is separated and it might actually be, it may, you know, help. It, okay, so it's possible that just because we dig into it, then it becomes more confusing. But we could think about the whole format if it would be better to have like motivation and goal. And every time you put something, you would want to have, have it all together. So your challenge and then what you're planning on to do. But right now, what we've been doing is we would take that goal and we're going to add it um, down yeah. here. Because not all the motivation has goals, right? But yeah, and that's why we were not putting it all together we were trying to separate them out.
How's that for the goal? Yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah, it works for me. So some of these look like they could be common goals. Increase the uses of Kubernetes orchestration capabilities with CNFs. So from a CNF consumer operator standpoint, that means that um, the operations team is going to be managing more things in the same way across CNS. So if they're all doing d leveraging the Kubernetes orchestration capabilities, then they're going to know um, how to manage them, any issues, whatever. But that's also true for the CNF developers. If they're leveraging the capabilities of the of the platform instead of trying to run a monolith and do their own orchestration within a, a large complex CNF, then you can focus on other things. You leverage the platform's capability and then you focus your feature development elsewhere. So this in my mind is a common goal. We could have something like this, shared goals. Same thing for if you're aligning with microservice architectural practices. If all your CNFs are following microservice practices, then as a consumer, the operator, your whole team can be trained to manage the, the CNFs um, using those patterns and practices rather than having lots of different ones. And then similarly, the CNF developer would be better utilizing those practices when they're doing development and whatever else. Speak up if y'all uh, object or have well, different thoughts. I, I, was, I was thinking to include the, 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 the role in the, the the, the phrase, like a, for example, uh, that one reduce the attack surface mm -hmm. you can just associate with the um, security engineers. So, for example, saying like security engineers can reduce the attack surface uh, area, multiple process, something like that. Like a just just including the role, and that way we can um, remove all the the roles from from. In all the sections like like for, but all under one big goal yes that, that's another option if we want it all right let's see how that looks What do we call this? This is like the life cycle management team or something? Um, yeah.
maybe we don't have to call out the security team for that one. It's just generic. Whoever wants to do it. Okay. Um, and I don't know that we need to say the operations team. It's just, who is it? You just get support scaling individual processes. Well, in that one, given that we are mentioning about development cycle, life cycles, yeah, yeah, it's, it's obvious that we are assuming that it's a developer, development team. How about that? Um, I'm not sure if yeah, it's, it's redundant to to put multiple times development. How about that? Yep. I think this is good for everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move the scaling down so it's beside this other scaling. This is about reasoning about scaling. Um, I don't know if we need to do it like that or not, but actually I'll just put it after. So one is just figuring out how do you want to scale it? Well, I, I was thinking two the things. The next is actually scaling it. So so in general, I guess that we what we are doing is simplify simplify the some things. Uh, yeah. Well, one of the things is like uh, the troubleshooting and readability of the log output. And the other thing is simplifying the scaling process. Uh -huh. I don't know if should, we should put it all together. Like, a, so all of them are just simplifying. Like, Yeah, I'll just put it here. To do, consider combining and simplifying. All right, I'm going to move back up so we don't get stuck. Wow, we got so much. Okay, motivation. Large surface area for security attacks. Okay, this is a challenge. Difficult to identify where the bugs are. Opaque view of the communication. Upgrade causing interruption with many services. So these are all challenges. All right. Developer, multiple people can block each other, test coverage. So we have goals. I'm going to leave these separate. I think it looks good up here in the motivation. And then the goals, to me, looks okay. All merged together. Okay. Uh, now, these are like benefits, which would probably be goals. The best practice benefits seen of consumers in the following ways. Okay, improve security through isolation. I don't know how this is relevant. Use the container namespace system. Okay, so I guess they are, if you split the processes 
and you don't have the same process type in the same container. So now you've split them into different pods in their own container. Well, then they are somewhat isolated. Of course, you could have problems within the entire CNF namespace if it has multiple pods or whatever, but just separating them into different containers is going to give some isolation, then separate them to different pods more. But this would be a a goal. I'm going to move that down to goals, not unless we're going to say something like in, um, let's see, security bugs in one process type affect all other processes in the same container. Does that make sense as a problem when you have a bunch of different processes together? And if if one of those, let's just call it different applications to make it simpler. If you have a bunch of different applications in one container, and then you have a security bug in one of those applications, well, then it's now, um, caused a security problem for all the other applications. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Let's do the, um, like Apache and Postgres, PostgreSQL. If you have those together and there's an Apache security bug, then all of a sudden your database is at risk. But if you have your Postgres database in a separate container, then it's at less of a risk. That's what this is trying to say. So, so what about just instead of books, uh, vulnerabilities in general? Security issues? Or vulnerabilities? Uh, my eyes are messing up. All right. Vulnerabilities in one process. And then we have the goals. Um, let's see. Reducing attack. Okay, then we do that. Now we have this. So this ties in with that last one. That's a goal. All right. Okay, now we've done that. Oops. Let's take it away. I think this goal is already there. I'm gonna just put it here and we know that we need to merge all of this. There we go. We can merge all of that scaling. Okay, this one is about a goal, reasoning about the log messages and all of that stuff. Well, we have that in one of these. Difficulty to identify components opaque view of component communication. So we don't have anything specific about logs. Oh, I guess we could say component opaque view. Um, <clears throat> log messages are more complex because they are from many different Sources. 
source. Uh, yeah, I was going to say process type sources instead of a single process type. All right. And really, I guess I'm saying log messages from a container. So we're not saying this whole CNF because the whole CNF, you know, maybe there's something or the product or whatever. I'm going to say that. So you have a product that maybe have multiple components and everything, but this the product is broken up into microservices and each of those microservices, you know, is a single process type in a container. Well, now the product may have like a, a label and all of it ends up coming together and you want to make it where you're saying, oh, this is all from that one product. But then when you're debugging, you know, oh, each container only has one process type. Versus if it has lots of different processes and you don't know what, what was it. So that one would be this, this goal. I'm going to put that there for now. Oh, this one, I see something there that's a very simple version of this that we didn't finish. So, so regarding logs, um, so yeah. well, uh, there are a lot of log ag aggregator tools, um, I mean, like Logsash and all of these. So I guess the, the major advantage is that, that you know, you don't need to, to rely on those tools, right? Like, uh, I mean, if you have like a, if you want to troubleshoot something, so so you can go directly to the container and, and you will see only one unique log instead of like having to correlate all this, yeah, you know, instead of writing or like doing things in many, many places or, or, or like, I mean, mostly like the simplification, right? Like, the the fact that you have multiple logs is it's not affecting the 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 operation of the container or the CNC the, the CNF right so what I mean is is uh you, you can you can get the similar uh, benefit but you have to rely on additional tool like a log aggregator to to collect all the logs and put in a single centralized place and you know what i mean um, yeah you may um decide to use there may be some type of tool that helps you to search through stuff and do mm -hmm. some type of analysis or whatever yes but rather than depending on that tool being really intelligent in its capability to gather and label everything from oh this is a multi-process oh these are different apache this is postgres even though it's in the same container all of it becomes simpler if you follow the same standard so you some of those tools that you're talking about have become very advanced in their capabilities because nobody was following standards. So they just had to add more and more um, ability to more exceptions. identify things, right? Yes. But it, if you are following like just the very first um, standard of, you know, this related to 12-factor apps, but everybody print their logs to standard out, start there, you know, then immediately you're going to have um, you're going to have the container plus a log, and then if you have one process per container, then we immediately know that okay, that's the whatever process. That's the Apache container. So all logs from that are the Apache logs. Um, now, whether you end up using something external and you're pulling it in and have like some 
external monitoring and observability system that may like give alerts and page people and everything else, that's something else. But you could, when you do that alert, you could point everybody right to it. this container. This container gave the alert. It's an Apache alert. We know that there's no other process. There's no database. There's nothing else. So the whole thing becomes easier. So now someone like the admin or someone jumps in and goes, oh, yeah, we need to restart those. They're having problems. Or they go, oh, let's escalate that to the vendor. And it points it right down. And, you know, they have VPN. They can go in and connect and work on it, whatever it is. It, the whole the whole procedure becomes uh, nicer because they followed a standard. Yep, yep, I agree. So. All right, so this is another one that we need to, you know, update and simplify. We had a very simple version of this, but probably need to take in some of these other things. Um, let's see. So we only have a couple more here. Improvements, lifecycle management, deployability. When a process binary or deployed in a container, it's coarse grain relative to the rate of change of the binary and container. But fine grained relative to the rate of change of other processes and their dependencies. Um, Yeah, so then redeployment can be happened based on the dependencies on like a container level versus are all the processes and libraries within the container going to work out? Or are we going to have problems? But again, this would be a, a goal. I think I could just move this down and we can look at updating or not. I feel like this is going to be related to like upgrading. This is related. So we talk about the orchestration part, um, increase the use. So there's something here with the orchestration. So maybe those need to be merged. This is becomes, I don't know if this is an operator or not. Now we're down to something. I'm going to just put it in here and then we can move it. But um, having multiple processes requires orchestration within the All right, I feel like that one needs to be, we need something there.
Okay, this is a goal. And it's somewhat related to this loosely coupled components. And then we already have a testing. Um, test coverage, but we have it down here. I'm just going to merge it in. We can simplify later, but I think we, this is, I think I've moved all the goals down. So unless we think of more motivations, like this one that I just added, then we may be good with the motivations. And then we clean up the goals section uh, and we should be good. Then we can move on to the proposal, which we thought would be more straightforward based on all of this. What are we proposing? We have a summary of what we're proposing and then we actually put it all the way forward. So um, under motivation, we could do the same thing that we did in goals and just merge it all and not have different sections. I can see that someone that's a con operator or someone that's a developer may want to go to the different sections, but we may be breaking it down more than needed. Maybe they just look and find the bullet points that matter to them and we don't worry about making sections. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. All right. You can go accept those, Oliver or Victor, either one. Those suggest that it's suggested. And then I think we're done with motivation. Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so we got to simplify goals. 
Um, but we feel good about what they are. We just need to combine them. And if we're thinking more non-goals, out of scope things, we can add them. Then add the proposal. We've already said the workload context is all pod types. We should add some user stories here or add them directly inline or add them as new user stories that are shared for anyone to use. Um, this is where we say it's okay to have multiple processes. And then we have some references, we could add more. If there's any alternative options. I guess it's going to be first version is in September. All right. Well, we're close to the top of the hour. Let's stop here and um, if anyone's up for a, a working session this week, Oliver's going to post a message into the Slack channel and then we can get together. I think we can have a PR in place uh, for next Monday's review. And well, Taylor, uh, next Monday is, is a holiday. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, we're going to we're planning to take off. Um, anyone object to that? Let's hear plus one or on cancel. Okay. Object. You agree, Victor? Yes, I'm great to cancel. All right. Who else do we have on the call? Drew? Do I got yeah, I won't be on next Monday. All right. All right. We'll cancel then. And regarding your PR, again, after. that'll okay. give us more time. But I'd, I'd like to get the PR in. We can tag as many people as possible and get that one the PR reviewed for this best practice and move on to the next I'd like to pick something from NFIO something on configuration management or the GitOps practices um, some of the stuff that's built into it deployment simplifying orchestration it's really replacing like mano and a lot of the other stuff out there that's more complex with a simpler way of doing things yeah or updated modern fitting 12 factor app and everything else you kind of think so so think guess, you're involved let's think about that see if we can find something i i guess that the the major um differentiator in the FIO, in FIO is uh the, the scale like uh everything is sinking in a scale like uh to deploy thousands of uh, cnfs so that's probably the major difference anyway um i guess uh regarding to your open pr uh putting notes on um, motivation and what else, like uh, goals. Um, you, I think that you can merge it. So at least you, you have. The current PR we can merge? Yeah. Or do you need more um, approvals? No, that's good. I'm going to merge it. Yeah, eventually. Uh, and I, I will try to fix all the LinkedIn and Format the issues later. All right, thank you. All right, we'll get one started for this 
this week I'd like to get the one process type practice. I'd, if, I'd like to put, put a PR in for that. And yeah. Have it I, open. I, I will send a message over and you guys let me know. I'll mainly direct it to Victor and, and to you, Taylor, and see if we can't set up, you know, at least a session today, if not today, tomorrow, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll fire off a suggestion. And if that works for you guys, we'll meet. Otherwise we'll just move it till we figure something out. And then I'll share, I'll share in case there's anyone else who wants to join. I'll share that on the Slack channel. Sounds great. Yeah. All thank, right. Thank you, Lira. Yeah, no problem. All right. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye. Talk to you later. Bye.